Hello. This is Artifacts of Mars. And, excuse me, this is a Tyranny Watch News special report. There apparently is a terror plot building in Missouri. Uh, the authorities aren't saying this, but uh, everything seems to be pointing towards the destruction of a dam called the Bagnell Dam. Hang on, I'll bring up some information on that. Uh, here's an overhead view of this dam. Why I say it's uh, Bagnell Dam they're looking at? Well, I'll get to that. It started with some some reports of some Middle Eastern men buying. Uh, cell phones en masse in various Walmarts. Some of the cities where purchases and attempted purchases are reported by police and media are Macon, Columbia, Jefferson City, Lebanon, Ava, Jackson, and Cape Girardeau. And what's been happening is the uh, Middle Eastern men have been going into Walmarts and buying large quantities of prepaid cell phones. Same kind of cell phone I use for, uh, for people to keep a hold of me and all that. I use a track phone. It's fine. Uh, after an early version was posted on Thursday afternoon, Marshfield Police Chief called to say a man who gave Michigan an address made a similar purchase of 19 prepaid cell phones in the city in October. Chief said a man gave a false tax-exempt waiver form to the store and bought ta phones without sales taxes. Right there it is. This is KY3.com news. It's a uh, Missouri place, Missouri uh, TV station. So I've been going in there and buying these cell phones. This is only part one. Uh, but, uh, by itself, maybe we could let that slide, but when will you see the rest of the information? All this stuff is happening in the same basic area, which I'll get to. I'll show the map. Next thing is... A hunter, if this ever comes up, a hunter uh, found a cache of explosives in Mark Twain National Forest, which is in the same area. It's all in the same basic area. It's a very large cache of explosives. Trying to get the picture. See, um, Only at Fazoli's can you get our new ultimate bowls with freshly roasted chicken. Okay. Sorry about the noise. Uh, so a hunter who was an army combat engineer from Fort Leonard Wood recognized the explosives and immediately reported to the sheriff's department. They found especially, essentially bomb making material explosives. Boom, boom, boom. They made two huge craters in the forest after they detonated it. Investigation continues into pulling who put the explosives there as it is state and federal offense to be in possession of those kinds of explosives which cannot be purchased easily. Well, neither can an AK-47, but the uh, Islamics get those too. That one doesn't really involve any Islamic uh, sighting of Islamic men or anything, but it's looking like uh, trouble. So then we get to the third story. You're going to love this one. A group of Middle Eastern men have been canvassing the Bagnell Dam. I'll show you the map in a short 
Bagnell Dam, uh, basically, uh, it, a r Lake Ozarks from the Ozarka River. I think it's called Ozarka River. Um, uh, long time ago, and it's a very popular tourist destination. Plus, of course, I'm sure there are plenty of uh, people living down the stream that the terrorists were able to blow it. Well, a bunch of Middle Eastern men uh, went up the dam. They wanted to know if they could get a boat tour of the place and how they could do that. And that was reported to the FBI. They wanted to know if they could run a boat and tour the dam. They've been reported as Middle Eastern men. With uh, recent things going on in our country and around the world, people are kind of a little bit more alerted. It's everyone's responsibility to watch out for each other. We all live in this community, and we, we're all going to notice things that seem out of place if we don't notice the pro notify the proper authorities who will. Officer Corporal Scott Hines said KMIZ-TV. This is a Fox station, obviously. Police saying the report does not mean there's any reason to be overly concerned. People should be aware and alert as they go about their business. Well, one of these by itself might not uh, raise any alarm bells. When you have all three of them, it means trouble, people. Now I'm going to show you the map. Hang on. Okay. This is a map. And I'm going to show you the uh, Mark Twain National Forest. Right there. And your uh, dam is up in this area. They're, they're not all that far away. Explosives were found in the forest. Uh, the dam is found up there. And I don't have to tell you, folks, the terrorists were to blow that. I don't have to see any statistics. No, a lot of people were dying. A lot of people. But the authorities aren't putting these uh, three things together, apparently. At least not publicly. You see, buying cell phones... The explanation I heard for that was uh, they're buying them for resale. That's utter hogwash. They said they're going to wait for the prices to go back up to normal, and then they're going to sell them at the normal price. Uh, that's not the way it works. That's BS. So, anyway, here you have the map. Well, I'm going to get rid of that. One sec. Alright. So anyway, there you have the map. You know what's going on. You have the explosives that were found in the Mark Twain National Forest. You have Middle Eastern men that were looking at that dam, Bagnell Dam. And you have cell phone buys, which were en masse. Uh, can anybody here but me put uh, all these together into an idea? All this is happening in a relatively small area of Missouri. Yet we're told there's no reason for concern. Unbelievable. Now, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about Dan not going to go in too much, because I'm not stupid. I know if the terrorists were to blow it, a lot of people will die. Hang on. Now, here's a Bagnell Dam, an overhead view of it. So, they filled that up from that river. If the terrorists were to blow that, not only would the people on, uh, going across the dam be killed because they drive across this thing but a whole lot of people 
uh, downstream would be dead. Lots and lots of people. This is what I think that they're uh, working on. But try to get the authorities to figure this out. These are Islamic terrorists. And the only thing they care about is killing. Kill, 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 kill. I think all of what it is. Islamic terrorism. Get over it. Anyway. Uh, this is our facts Marge, your resident Islamophobe saying, wake up, get alert, watch your backs. Looks like a terrorist plot to me. This is SOP, standard operating procedure for these people. They take a boat, put the explosives, use cell phones, remote, uh, call numbers on cell phones, Remotely detonate them, blow up the dam while they're safely away from it and drown probably tens of thousands of people. You people and the FBI and the authorities, you can't figure this out. Why can I? I'm just a occasional news guy hobbyist on... Uh, YouTube. I'm getting sick and tired of the denials. We know we're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. Wake up, people. You're in trouble plenty. You see, these sons of bitches want to be politically correct and not connect the dots. Screw that. I'm connecting the dots right now. This looks like a terrorist plot probably to blow up this dam and take it down and drown tens of thousands of people. It can be stopped. We stop with a goddamn denial and start getting this situation under control. Stop with the denial. Stop with the denial. Stop with the denial. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This has been a Tyranny Watch News special report. Thanks for watching.